Welcome to Storytime with Dr. Jeremy. I'm going to read The Gruffalo. This book was given to my daughter Kinsley from her kindergarten teacher, Mrs. Mitchell. So Mrs. Mitchell, if you're watching this, thank you so much. This is one of my daughter's favorite books. My wife and I fell in love with this as well. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this as well. So let's dive into this. The author is Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler. And I love the illustrations in this book. A mouse took a stroll through the deep dark wood. A fox saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and have lunch in my underground house. It's terribly kind of you, fox, but no, I'm going to have lunch with a gruffalo. A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? A gruffalo? Why didn't you know? He has terrible tusks and terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws. Where are you meeting him? Here by these rocks. And his favorite food is roasted fox. Roasted fox, oh my, fox said. Goodbye, little mouse, and away he sped. Silly old fox, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a gruffalo, or is there? On went the mouse through the deep dark wood. An owl saw the mouse, and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Join me for tea in my treetop house. It's frightfully nice of you, owl, but no, I'm going to have tea with a gruffalo. A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? A gruffalo? Why didn't you know? He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. Where are you meeting him? Here by this stream and his favorite food is owl ice cream. Owl ice cream? Too wit, too woo. Goodbye little mouse and away owl flew. Silly old owl, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a gruffalo. On went the mouse to the deep dark wood. A snake saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come for a feast in my log pile house. It's wonderfully good of you, snake, but no, I'm having feast with a gruffalo. A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? A gruffalo? Why didn't you know? I don't like snakes, FYI guys, they're creepy. His eyes are orange, his tongue is black. He has purple prickles all over his back. Where are you meeting him? Here by this lake. And his favorite food is scrambled snake. Scrambled snake? It's time I hid. Goodbye, little mouse, and away snake slid. Silly old snake, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a gruffle. Uh-oh. Oh, but who is this creature with terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws? He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. His eyes are orange, his tongue is black. He has purple prickles all over his back. Oh, help, oh no, it's a gruffalo! My favorite food, the Gruffalo said. You'll taste good on a slice of bread. Good, said the mouse. Don't call me good. I'm the scariest creature in this deep dark wood. Just walk behind me and soon you'll see. Everyone is afraid of me. Oh, sure, said the Gruffalo, bursting with laughter. You lead the way and I'll follow after. They walked and walked till the Gruffalo said, I hear a hiss in the grass ahead. It's snake, said the mouse. Why snake, hello? Snake took one look at the gruffalo. Oh dear, he said, goodbye little mouse, and slid right into his log pile house. You see, said mouse, I told you so. Amazing, said the gruffalo. They walked some more till the gruffalo said, I hear a hoot in the trees ahead. It's owl, said the mouse. Why owl, hello? Owl took one look at the gruffalo. Boo hoo, he said, goodbye little mouse, and flew right up to his treetop house. You see, said Mouse, I told you so. Astounding, said the Gruffalo. They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I hear some paws on the path ahead. It's Fox, said Mouse. Why, Fox, hello. Fox took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh, help, he said. Goodbye, little Mouse, and ran right into his underground house. The Mouse said, Gruffalo, now you see, everyone is afraid of me. But now my tummy is starting to rumble, and my favorite food is Gruffalo Crumble. Gruffalo crumble, the Gruffalo said, and quick as the wind, he turned and fled. All was quiet in the deep dark wood. The mouse found a nut, and the nut was good. The end. I love, love this book. I hope you guys enjoyed this as well. Be sure to tune in to other story readings by me, Dr. Jeremy, and uh, feel free to share this with family, friends, uh, get the word out. Going through this COVID-19 period, um, what a great way to, uh, to help out kids and to distract 
parents as well. So thank you for watching and until next time, have a blessed day.